Thomas was waiting at the junction with a good strain. Gordon shuffled in with some trucks. Ew, can you smell that? Thomas remarked to Annie and Clarabelle nearby. I can't smell the smell. It's a funny, musty sort of smell. No one mentioned it until you did, said Gordon. It must be yours. You know what I think it is? Thomas paused dramatically. It's ditch water. And Thomas ran away with the trucks laughing. Annie and Clarabel were most horrified and apologized profusely to Gordon for Thomas' behavior. Thomas, meanwhile, didn't have a care in the world. He found the whole thing a great laugh. That was funny. That was funny, he chortled. Thomas left his trucks at a siding at a station. Then he took a number of empty ones up a small line to an old mine. Long ago, miners digging for lead had made tunnels under the ground. Now they crisscrossed all over the place hidden by the earth. Some ran right underneath this small yard, and though their roofs were strong enough to hold trucks, their weight could not hold engines. A sign read, Danger! Engines must not go past this board. Thomas disliked this sign. There's tracks, he'd say, so I must be allowed it beyond it. Silly board. He often tried to push past the sign to no avail. However, this morning, Thomas had a plan. He had to push a line of trucks into one of the good sidings. His driver stepped out to switch the points, and his fireman leaned out to talk to the workmen. That's when Thomas struck. He bumped the trucks fiercely. They rolled into a siding and crashed into the buffers. More importantly, however, his fireman had fallen out of the cab, and Thomas rolled forward. His driver couldn't switch the points or catch up to him. Thomas went into the sidings. Oh, I've done it! Oh, I've done it! But he didn't celebrate for long. All of the shaking and sudden movements had loosened the soil, and as Thomas chuffed along, a sinkhole opened up, swallowing the tracks. Now Thomas tried to stop, but he couldn't. Horrors! he cried as he dipped into the hole. Fire and smoke! I'm sunk! And he was. Thomas peered out of his hole. He could see nothing but sky in the brake van. It didn't stay that way for long, however. You're a very naughty engine! I know, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I sure you ignore that danger shine, and there will be a punishment. Oh, hey, yes, sir, but, but please get me out, sir. Of course, but I don't know how. The, the ground isn't firm enough for a crane, the fat controller thought hard. Hmm, I wonder if Gordon can pull you out. Yes, sir, Thomas wished sadly. He didn't want to see Gordon quite yet. Down on a mine, is he? What a joke, what a joke. Gordon arrived at a small mine. Hello, Thomas, what are you doing down there? Thomas just looked down. Ho oh, oh, ho, we'll get you out in a couple of puffs. Cables were fastened between the two engines, and under the fat controller's supervision, Gordon heaved. It took more than a couple of puffs as Gordon strained and strained. His face turned red and he was panting, but finally... I've got him! I've got him! Thomas slid out of his hole. Well John Gordon, Thomas, you will be cleaned and checked and then go to the big station. Percy will look after your work on the branch line. You are a new pilot until I can trust you again. Yes sir, Thomas replied sadly as the fat controller left. Chin up, at least you aren't stuck in that hole anymore. I'm sorry I was cheeky, Thomas said to Gordon. It's alright, replied Gordon. You made me laugh. Besides, now I have company in disperse. Yes, you do. 
Maybe we can get our spots on this railway back together. Maybe, Chomish. Shall we form an alliance? You help me, and I help you. United we stand, together we fall. How does that sound? It sounds like you've got a deal. Good. That's settled, Gordon said grandly, and buffer to buffer the new allies set off for home.